When you need to import posts back uh, from a WordPress site to another WordPress site or maybe from your WordPress.com site to a self-hosted version or something like that, WordPress actually provides a tool that helps you with this. So you're going to go in your dashboard to Tools and then Import. It's going to give you several options here of what you want to, what kind of source file you want to import from. So we're importing from WordPress and it's going to tell us to install the WordPress importer plugin. And then we're going to go ahead and click the activate plugin and run importer. And you need to choose your file. Give me one second. And then go ahead and click the upload file and import. So if there are authors, uh, it'll, it'll ask you for each author that exists uh, for the posts or pages or whatever custom post types you have in the XML file that you're importing, if you want to assign it to a new user or give it to somebody that already exists. You also have the option to download and import file attachments. I will mention though that I, I do usually go ahead and check this, but it doesn't always work properly. So if you're experiencing trouble with that, you may have to do a bit of manual work to get the uh, attachments, any photos and PDFs and that kind of thing working properly. Uh, but you can also always check it and give it a try. And then just click Submit, and depending on how many posts you have, it can take, as you can see, it barely took any time at all, or it can take up to a few minutes. So if it's taking a little bit longer, this may be a good time to go off and grab a snack or come back to it later. And so now if we go and look at our posts, all of those posts have just been imported and it retained all of the information that it had for them previously. Uh, so that's how to use the WordPress importer to import your posts from another WordPress site. Thanks for watching.